and welcome to this review of Carstairs White Seal Blended Whiskey. It says, established 1788, American Blended Whiskey, a gracious combination of distinguished, distinguished whiskeys and fine neutral spirits. Uh, and there's a signature Carstairs, T-H-O-S period Carstairs. Sazerac Company, 375 milliliter bottle. Uh, it's in your typical modern 80-20 blend, 80% grain neutral spirits, 20% straight whiskey. Okay, Frankfort, Kentucky, that means it's coming from Buffalo Trace. I had some other blends. I was going to do what William Kepley called the 80-20 trifecta, three-way tasting. I might do that later, but I wanted to get to the car stairs. Uh, Try these three. McCormick from Missouri, Kentucky Dale, Kentucky Deluxe. Haven't tried 75 South. Those are all Sazerac as well as this one. And then Heaven Hill blended Kentucky whiskey. That is from Heaven Hill Distillery in Kentucky. Okay. Let's line this up. I bought this. Okay, let's see the date first, guys. The 256th day of 2013. And they make this in big, this comes also in big bottles, the typical normal size glass bottle as well. Okay, from what I could find out, it was a Philadelphia distillery. There used to be a fairly good number of Philadelphia distilleries. Prohibition hit, <coughs> pretty much destroyed the company along with thousands of others, uh, wine, beer, and uh, liquor companies. It was bought up after Prohibition and then eventually turned into a blended whiskey. At one time, uh, like 70, 30, 75, 25, now 80, 20. I was looking at some old ads from the 1930s or 40s and it was like a 86 proof straight whiskey okay so it's been like a lot of these old venerable brands it's been degraded down to just a what we'd say a budget price value priced uh, blended whiskey which they talk about on the Sazerac website it's uh, a description of those all their brands and how they are designed for uh, people that are looking to save money okay uh, they did find out that the white seal label, there's a white seal with a red ball, inside a red ball with gold trim. This was started in 1940. The Carstairs name, from what I could find out, was trademarked in 1893. But they're saying that it was established in 1788. So there may have been a brewery there since 17, uh, a distillery there since 1788. Then it transformed into Carstairs. If you know anything about this, let me know. I was at this kind of a, my daddy said, that old raggedy store? Yeah, it's not too good. It used to be, I think, a Sitco station. Now it's some independent gas station. But this guy had an incredible, the beer selection was typical for our area. But yet he had an incredible amount of hard liquor. And I, I said, I can't see it too well. And he said, you can come around the counter and look. So I went back there and it's so much of it just caked with dust, like he had gotten it from somebody else and never um, addressed it. It was just dust all over this. So I said, car stairs, and then there was about four different bottles. This one had the nicest looking label, wasn't too chipped up. They also had this uh, Ansoc uh, Cognac. You can see that label's fairly deteriorated. Uh, I don't know if they were in humidity. I think this bottle's from 2012, the 101st day of 2012 at 11.56. Okay, yeah. Looks like that's the case for the Ansop. That's another story for another day. <clears throat> I said, look, uh, and then he had some scotch. A bottle about this size or, yeah, 
maybe, yeah, about 200 milliliters. And every time you picked it up, you could hear a bell tinkling inside the, the bottle. It was strange. And he said, I'll give you that for $12. I said, nah. But he sold me this and the Ansoc together for seven. He said, I'll sell those together for seven bucks. I said, good idea. They're covered with dust anyway. Trying to get rid of it. He said, yeah. So I might have to go back and revisit that place and see what else, what other little treasures there are. So seven dollars for this and that together for two, two things I may never see. I did see Ansoc at another place, but they wanted a ridiculous amount. So I told them, never mind. Keep it on the shelf for another 12 years. Whatever. I didn't say it like that. I was thinking that. Nice alcohol legs dripping around. Amber, a little lighter amber maybe than you know, normally see, maybe, maybe. Probably not too different from these two, maybe the same, it might be the same whiskey one, two, three, four times for all I know in different label, bottle designs and labels. Yeah, the grain neutral spirits are going to have basically that. They're rectified spirits. They're going to have a neutral flavor and aroma. They're designed as a base upon which to build liquor brands, okay? And according to the U.S. government website, Tax and Trade Bureau, it should not present any flavors or aromas. The grain neutral spirit should be straight, nearly pure alcohol, and like I said, a base. The aroma and the color is coming from the 20% Buffalo Trace whiskey whatever type they're using in here, okay? Doesn't have any caramel color or other flavors added because it would have to indicate that on the bottle. It does not indicate that. I do see some blended whiskeys which will indicate flavor and coloring. So, sweet, a little oak, a little vanilla, like William Kepler said, antiseptic. And some of these other ones I have to get away from my hands because I was cutting up sausage and uh, onions and uh, Limburger cheese earlier with grits. It's just a standard aroma. There's nothing bad about it. There's no off aromas, smells, or anything like that. It just smells, and it doesn't smell cheap or, or bad. It's just whiskey. Okay. And I'm figuring 90% of the people buying car stairs are going to blend it, you know, make a mixed drink with it is what I mean, of some sort. And it's highly unlikely they're going to do a taste test. Well, it's about 5.45 a.m. by the way. Um, heading towards 6 a.m. It's very smooth. The body's light. It's fairly light bodied. That may appeal to you. A little vanilla. A little bit rose water, in fact. Sweetness and some White oak, I guess, but it doesn't taste like there's any char. If, the, if those barrels are charred, they're probably very lightly charred. And more than likely, they've been there reused. Okay, Sazerac. They sell extremely expensive whiskeys, rum, brandy, etc. And they also sell budget brands like this, 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 this in Albertson's brand, 75 South, Interstate 75 South, Louisville, Kentucky, you get it? That's the location of the distillery. Heaven Hill, same thing. This, which is in practically every store in Louisiana, to my knowledge. You see it everywhere in every kind of bottle configuration you can imagine. But Heaven Hill also releases extremely expensive ultra gourmet as I've said before whiskey rum even brandy there's now a uh, Christian Brothers bottled and bond brandy which I noticed came out and I might ought to get that because I don't know how long that's going to be on the market I've seen that at Dornex 
apparently the first ever bonded brandy in history. <laughs> um, well, this is smooth. It's enjoyable. I find it, to me, it seems a little smoother than this or this. So maybe they're not all the same thing. I'd have to do a side-by-side, -side, but I don't think it is the same. There's a little, like I said earlier, a little more sweetness. Well, I'll just talk about sweetness, but a little more sweetness than you would normally get. And that rose water, so, or, which is like dried flowers. I think it's all right. Um, <laughs> the price point on this might be a little higher than these two, the two KDs. Um, but since I've only seen it once in my life at a store, I, could, I couldn't really say. Yeah, this thing is all good and there's no bad. I don't notice any detriment with it. If you're getting a bottle like this for $9.99 for the bottle like this, size 750 glass, I think it's a great deal. You might see it cheaper. Um, I saw this at a store, convenience store, $6.99. I think I got it for $4.99, and then the people who are negligent with pricing, they must have realized that their, their tags hadn't been changed in ages, because I went back a month later and everything was up a dollar. <laughs> it was $5.99, and, so, and this was $5.99 at Albertsons, okay? So if those two taste like this, then we're, we're really talking about an extraordinary value. And, It's fine by me, so if you know anything about car stairs, hit me up in the comments. Thank you for watching this video production.